In this tutorial, you'll learn how to change the breakpoints of your nav bar in Bootstrap 5. Now we can talk about responsiveness because here um, it's not um, it's no hamburger menu yet, but here it, it it already is, right? So we can also change that. So the thing with uh, Bootstrap is when you talk about responsiveness, Bootstrap has a mobile first philosophy. So from their perspective, you start like this, right? You don't actually have to do this, but um, this is simply how they how they have structured the bootstrap classes and things like that. So you start from mobile first and then you can decide at which breakpoint, right? So bootstrap has a breakpoint. And let's see, this, these are the ones that you're gonna use often. So let's see, breakpoints. Yeah, so these are the important breakpoints that you get in bootstrap. So you can uh, see we have small, medium, large. Um, we can decide from which breakpoint onward that does it need to be expanded. So we could say, for example, from um, medium or small, let's say small, from small and onwards, it should be expanded. So from 576 pixels of width of the viewport, right? So when this viewport is 576 pixels wide or bigger, it should be expanded. Right now, we can actually see this, it's ex it's expanding when it, when it reaches the large breakpoint, which is 992. We're gonna change this to small. Right, so you can use these uh, suffixes like SM or LG with a lot of classes to really customize the, the, the styling based on some kind of breakpoint. Right, so now on mobile, it's still gonna be a, um, a hamburger menu, right? But then when we get to the small breakpoint, it will be expanded. That's the same as in the example. Right, so navbar already gets a little bit complicated because it's a bigger component with, with, with a little bit of a tricky part with the hamburger menu, so... Uh, make sure you 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 follow the examples because um, especially as a beginner bootstrap developer, it's going to be um, you know too complicated in the beginning to do it uh, by yourself from scratch, right? So just go to the examples and customize it as you see fit. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch, so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.